Alright guys, so today we have the SJ5000X Elite. Um, it's a limited edition. Um, I got it off of GearBest.com and it uh, just arrived today. So let's open it, okay? Well, so this is the box for it. As you can see. What's inside is actually this. A very, very high powered. I call it Full Pro. It's a knockoff version of GoPro. It can take up to 12.4 um, megapixel. It has a 12.4 megapixel camera sensor in here, um, equivalent to the GoPro. Um, but you know, it's half the cost of GoPro. So this is these are the alternatives to um, people who want to own a GoPro and uh, don't want to pay the premium for it. It's just it has the same quality. Um, I will I will upload some of the test footage, um, even underwater, to show you the quality of it. It's it's actually very good. Um, it has a detachable 900 mAh. Uh, battery inside, um, and those battery could be bought at, you know, at, at uh, GearBest for less than six dollar a piece. So you could, you could basically pack like a whole week of uh, video footage of battery on you on your like camping trips, and uh, I guess uh, um, for me it'll be on the kayak. Because I'll be out there more than, you know, 60 minutes at a time, so I want to record the whole thing for a long time. The only downside to changing battery out in open water is that you got to open this thing up. That's the only down part. But if you could find a system, you know, you could find a way. Uh, you can probably do it. Um, I'll show you in my later videos on how I change battery, how I charge this thing while in the water. Um, SJ Cam does come with an extra case that allow you to do a um, a charge via it's in a rubber adapter and uh, I'll have a I have the adapter link on on the YouTube page also um, as you can see it just comes with it and there's a plastic piece in front I usually take it out because uh, it obstructs the the taken of the videos for the camera so it does come with this little lock mechanism just have to click down pull up and then detach um, be mindful that um, when you open this up one is water water could still drip in and seep into here so just uh, just have to be very patient before you open it up there's also you have to notice that there is um, see if there is a plastic piece inside here make sure that that the camera doesn't have this thing stick stuck to it because your quality is gonna be adversely affected by your um, by your uh, videos um, I usually leave the the back cover on because it's not really a touch screen, so um, I'm not a I really don't care if this thing comes out or not. I like it because sometimes I put it in my pocket and I scratch. So over here, there's a charger port, port. There's a micro SD card port. Um, from what I've known, I haven't checked yet. I'll, I'll post a link. Um, it support up to 32 gig. Um, that being said, um, I've I've known other camera that could support more higher, but from my knowledge, is only up to 32 gig. Um, this is the H HDMI port that you get adapter for. It does not come with the adapter for the HMI. However, um, there's really no need for that, since um, most people who use this will typically have their uh, some sort of uh, means to transferring their video over using the SD card. Okay, 
um, let's put it back oh as, as you can see down the bottom of the camera um, you're gonna have a port it's a uh, it's the port for the battery and it's spring loaded so just be mindful that when you open it up there and this is the battery right here this is the actual battery as you can see let's see the camera focus well it's an SH cam uh, battery and it's 900 mAh it's pretty good um, like I said it will last roughly around 45 to 60 minutes of video taking before the battery runs out um, and that's on that's on like 4 HD okay um, okay let's see what accessory it comes with um, so the box comes with this um, there's some extra straps of course the data cab cable they upgraded it looks a little bit sturdier it reminds me of the of an LG phone um, charger it's a very round very smooth finish to it this is a front pocket clip you use it without the, with cam without the camera case um, and you clip it on your and just walk around you could put this on your um, backpack uh, straps um, there's also a quick release that you could pop it out take the camera out but I personally don't like this because this shakes a lot um, and and because you're you're exposing your camera to the elements you're you're taking a higher risk especially when you're walking around town and you know, some water spray on you this is a um, I call this a bike uh, adapter it's supposed to go into your like uh, fork um, your your front steering fork uh, handlebar and um, twist it out pop the camera in and now you have a front view uh, for a bicycle or motorcycle uh, some extra adapter so that you could adhesive there's an adhesive um, for these type there's an adhesive built in already so you don't have to worry about it it's 3 millimeter um, 3m um, tape I tend to don't like to use this because I have bad experience with it. It actually, um, even though it's 3M, it actually falls off um, very, very quickly. It's uh, it's a bit annoying. Okay. Um, another adapter just for angle. Um, this comes with an angle um, head, just for that, you know, for that weird angle that you're trying to mount your camera on. Several other. These are just um, I call them spinner heads. They're uh, mainly for twisting. If if you if you have a stationary adapter like this angle head, and you let's say you lock it in right, and um, let's say let's say you locked in the the stationary head. Okay, you're gonna pop this out and lock it in. Now you have something that you could turn 75 degrees, 50 degrees and stuff like that. It's uh, very useful. Um, there's a lot of useful parts in here. Um, also the main, one of the main thing I like to show is this that it comes with. So this uh, actually pops in the back of this and um, this is by all means not waterproof. Uh, this is a so that if you're driving a motorcycle and you don't want the muffle noise of your recording, um, then you have this. Uh, there's a little slit right here that allows air to go through and sounds to go through. I would not advise to use this if you're uh, boating, but uh, it's a great it's a great adapter if you need um, better sound, but you want you still want to protect your um, your uh, your camera from a little bit of rainfall. Um, I wouldn't advise to put this on when you're driving in a typhoon or something in the state of Hawaii. Um, and then they give you some extra clips, extra more extension clips. Um, camera lens cleaner, I, I personally don't use that uh, because, you know, it's, it's, 
it's not stored in a correct uh, in a clean place so it might have some roughness to it extra 3m tape and a cap for the front of your camera if it's outside um, this thing falls off like nobody business so I don't use that either um, but I'll keep it I'll keep it okay you get stickers and of course this uh, very very generic um, information uh, booklet in multiple language and that's that's basically it for uh, this camera it comes with a box however um, uh, I wouldn't say the box is great for anything other than the fact that there's a hole on the box uh, you know it would be a great design if they just you know put a plastic cover on this and and now we have something to store it with uh, and of course uh, be sure if it's an SG cam camera um, be mindful that you need you, you want to see these logos on there this is very um, it has a scratch to make sure that you know your code is correct and you file it on there um, just just be mindful that uh, don't buy from eBay like weird SJ cam there's there's only a few that you, you can actually purchase there's SA cam 4000 there's SA cam 4000 plus there's SJ cam 5000 5000 plus and then this is the 5000 X um, there's the M10 and then the M20 um, that's about it they don't make any other one so if you see like SJ 7000 or SA like 6000 um, those are knockoff prime and yeah they'll work but they're not gonna have the same sensor as this the the sensor that's in here is the what would you want is the 12.4 megapixel Sony IMX 078 sensor you that right now is one of the best sensor that um, I can think of okay um, unless you're going with the GoPro four that's that's probably it that's that's it right now um sj cam did come out with a new um with a new camera uh i'll be getting that soon and i'll i'll post a review on that for you guys and thanks for watching